We're going to talk about it again. What is the Stern Wheeler Challenge, Elliot? The Stern Wheeler Challenge is a challenge against the rocks and the shallows in the Old Man River between here and Medicine Hat. And you did it last year, and we were just talking about some of the events along the way. Now, when was the first trip made by Stern Wheeler? That but, went but back it was the first launching was uh, the July of 1883. Um, on the first, and this was a reenactment of the 100th anniversary that we did last year. Why reenact it? What was the purpose of that? I think it's very important to relive our history and to bring our history into the people of today's minds that we do have a history here, a valid history, and an exciting history. And I think that that's very important that young people know that Canada does have a history. Do people respond? to historical reenactment of historical events like Stern Wheeler Challenge. There was a crowd of seven, several hundred people yes. out last summer to watch the launching of the nine boats that participated in this first year's reenactment. Mm -hmm. And all of those people had only actually five months in which to construct their craft of various designs, but all with paddle wheels on them. Yes. And I would say the interest is very good. People do respond. We had a great deal of help from uh, people all around the area in putting the event on and we hope to see more people participate this year. It's a marvelous trip down the river to Medicine Hat. And of course the river has changed a great deal from that first river trip to the one you're talking about last year. Obviously the, the river is lower now. It is much lower now. What was, what, all right, what was it like for you? Talk about it. Well we found it to be uh, the three days were three individual days. There was no day that was alike. The first day, we started off in a, a relatively decent weather. Um, we ended up into a, a, a rain. The uh, second day was a, a terrible day, I would say, wouldn't you, Elliot? That was a was storm day. Stormy day and rained and uh, uh, we had to uh, fight the water. Of course, uh, there's rocks all the way. You, uh, we, we have a three-man crew. Uh, Jerry Potts accompanies us as a guide. You know that he's a very famous guide from this area. Mm -hmm. And um, By the way, where is Jerry Potts today? We think that he may be uh, out on the reservation somewhere with some of his friends. Yeah. Uh, we haven't seen him for a while. He, he doesn't stay in town very much, mm -hmm. and uh, we expect to have him back uh, as our guide again. Well, he was the only one that actually knew the way to Medicine Hat. That was the thing that we well, took that him was along. His purpose, yes, right, to guide and, you uh, there. Some people think, well, he was a, a plainsman, but he actually was born on the Missouri River, so he's a river man from way back, and he got us through. We did actually arrive in Medicine Hat with his help. And, uh, Good. So we have some slides that we should look at right now, and perhaps you can give us a running commentary as to what is happening. I think we're starting here with the the launching. Uh -huh. Okay, talk a little bit about what we're seeing here. This is the launching, uh, you can see there was quite a crowd of people last summer when we took off from uh, Indian Battle Park below Lethbridge here, just, uh, just a little bit north of the high level bridge. Mm -hmm. Actually one of the worst stretches of the river. Is it? Why? Very shallow and there's a lot of rocks in between the high level bridge and the main traffic bridge for Highway 3. Hmm. Okay. Ah, costumes. Yes, that's... Um, that's the launching of our craft, as a matter of fact, the Coolie mm -hmm. Queen, I think that's a... Is that, that what you named your, your boat? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lady came down to see us also, of course. Ah, this is interesting. Okay. Are that, we underway here? That is the noble lady that the Nobleford Lions Club built. Uh -huh. Very, really a nice boat. And they'll be participating again this year. Yes. Were any of the, uh, the boats um, damaged in any way through the rocks? We, we uh, punctured our hull in a few places, and we uh, had a, a collision with another boat in a rapid area. Oh, dear. Uh, yes, there were damages. Most boats, uh, with some paddle wheel damage, uh, steering damage. Uh, I think everyone, and of course, of the uh, participants that began the trip, there were only three that completed the actual three-day event. Oh. Uh, some of them did the first day, and then trailered the second day and then put their boats in the water and went to Medicine Hat and arrived. And I think there was nine uh, in, in all. Did everyone arrive in Medicine I, Hat? I think there were seven actually seven, got to Medicine yes, Hat. Yes, but only three actually completed the entire voyage. I see. Okay, let's go on. 
Ah. This is the Voyager. This was a very fast boat. These uh, fellows were out ahead right from the start, and they actually found with their paddle wheel, the, which sustained quite a bit of damage on the rocks and shallows, they had to remove every second paddle of their paddle wheel, and the boat actually ran better. Hmm. So adjustments had to be made along the way. Okay, this is still back at the launching and uh -huh. saying goodbye to a few friends. And yes, and you can see, of course, the crowd that was gathered there. Uh, Mayor Anderson was there that morning, and uh, Blaine Thacker, our MP, and um, uh, another personage that stood in for John Gogol, who would have been there but was not able to arrive that morning. And uh, we had speeches and uh, quite a little send-off. Right. Did you stop along the way? Now, this is a three-day event. Yes. All right. Did you stop and camp along the way, or did you stay on the boat most of the time? Well, we inadv inadvertently stopped along the way, uh, just upstream from Tabor Provincial Park when we ran out of fuel on the boat. Oh, dear. A short distance That's from the campsite. That's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was rather unnerving, too, because uh, the weather had turned rather foul. It was rainy and windy, and uh, we weren't dressed for that kind of weather and we spent the night huddled in the bottom of the boat uh, on the bank of the river. Did you at any point wonder why you were doing this? <laughs> <laughs> at, at, that <laughs> at that moment, we, uh, we did question <laughs> our wisdom. Here again. This, this is, is the Cooley Queen, and, and Jerry Potts, you can see him on the bow uh, looking over and uh, checking he? for rocks and whatever. It, right. it's, you definitely have to be vigilant at all times. I it, can uh, understand that. It, uh, as soon as you relax, it seems like you may be in very deep water and you relax and then suddenly you're into the rocks again. Mm -hmm. It uh, is that, uh, that change in terrain in the, in the river bottom. So sometimes I would imagine you're crisscrossing the river then in order to get around the rocks. You have to try to pick the main channel. Find that channel is difficult, yes. Mm -hmm. With pots along, it was a great help to us because he did know the water. Uh, Yes. This one here. That's Northwest Coal and Navigation Company's boat, our boat. Uh, I believe that might be taken at the stop at Tabor Provincial Park. It is. That, that's the morning. Mm -hmm. And it looks like a rather gray, cold morning. It was. It was a, it was a, a terribly uh, miserable morning. Of course, we had spent the night on the boat and arrived in late, whereas the rest of the people had arrived the night before and spent the night there. We came in in the morning when they were underway and uh, we stopped for breakfast and, and then we got underway late. But it was when none of us were feeling too great at that point, I don't think. Yes. Ah. But we are underway. The sun shineth. <laughs> <laughs> this is typical of what the really nice weather was like. And the coolies and the river are, a, it's just a most enjoyable trip down there when the weather is like this. It, it just gives you a very good feeling. What did you see along the way? Because certainly this is a part of the terrain that most people would miss. At one point we saw a mother duck with 22 ducklings, wow. by count, <laughs> which uh, handily outran us. Mm. All right, is this the original Sternwheeler that we're looking at here? Yes. That is the Massive Alberta. Boat. Yes. And that's taken in Medicine Hat. I believe that, that photograph and was taken in Medicine Hat. Was it used to transport coal to and from? Was this the main? Yes, but it wasn't successful. It was the main purpose. It was before they put the rail line through. Yes. And uh, they had intended to transport it. Well, they had a contract. And to fulfill the contract, they didn't have time to put a rail down. So they built boats. And, and a total of three boats were built. I think there was a fourth, finally. But three were the main boats. Uh, the Alberta, the Baroness, and the smaller one called the Minnow. These boats actually were confiscated by the Canadian government for use uh, as troop transports during the Real Rebellion. So these boats finally went to um, down into the the uh, country where the rebellion was going over into Saskatchewan and uh, yeah. and down. We hope to reenact that voyage ourselves in uh, in uh, the next year. I think it's a hundred years. Is on that. this you, Charles? Yes, that's. Uh, that's, uh, uh, I, I am the captain of the boat, and at mm -hmm. that point I am captaining the boat, although we rotate that, that service, because it is very nerve-wracking to be on, uh, on any part of the boat at all times. You, you have it's to like be captain vigilant. Captain Highliner, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> we, all right, you're ready to do it again. Obviously, it was successful. You, you enjoyed the trip, and you want to do it again, and you're encouraging people to respond in kind as well. 
We've had our boat uh, on display this last weekend out at the Park Meadows Mall, and there's been quite a few people interested in right. it. We're going to go into a commercial break right now. We'll come back and continue this discussion. Don't go away.